Windows 11 has been available since October 2021, and Microsoft has been pushing it out to eligible machines in stages. But if you haven't received the upgrade yet, it's free and you can do it manually. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can check your PC's compatibility, then how you can download and install Windows 11. We're also then going to take a look at some of the new features and the new user experience that you'll have once you restart your machine on Windows 11. We'll take a look at multiple virtual desktops, as well as snap layouts for Windows and even the new enhanced emoji picker. Now, if you've already installed Windows 11 on your PC and you want to jump to the later part of this video where we talk more about the features and functionality, you can use the timestamps in the description below this video. Be sure and check out my other video after you've installed Windows 11 on how to fix and personalize your settings. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the manual upgrade process so that you'll know what to expect. Before you download Windows 11, you can check your PC compatibility using the PC Health Check app. If you don't have it installed, you can click here to install it, and I'll include a link in the description below. Use the search in your taskbar to search for PC Health Check, and select to open it. Once you open the app, you can click Check Now under the Introducing Windows 11 banner to see if your PC meets the requirements to run Windows 11. If there are any issues, you should receive details as to why, along with instructions for further support. Once you've checked your compatibility, you can review a full list of feature details on this website from Microsoft. I'll include a link to this in the description below the video. When you're ready to download Windows 11, you can go to the Windows 11 installer page here. This page gives you three options for download. The first option is the best option for installing Windows 11 on your current machine. But if you have multiple computers that you want to upgrade at your home, you may want to take advantage of the second option that allows you to create a bootable USB that you can use to install on all your other devices. This saves you the download time on each machine. This process can take anywhere from 30 minutes to several hours, depending on your internet speed. Once it's ready, you'll be prompted to restart your computer. Windows 11 offers a great new feature that allows you to set up multiple virtual desktops. So if you're tired of clicking through lots of minimized windows and tabs while you're working on your computer when you go between work, school, and personal projects, you can now create multiple virtual desktops so that you could have one for work and one for personal and toggle between the two. Let's take a look at how this works. Currently, I'm on desktop one. If I hover over this icon, I can see that I have desktop one, that's my active desktop. And if you notice the taskbar, I have an underline over each of the items that I have active on my desktop. So I might be working in my Word document and my Excel file, and maybe I have my Outlook open and some other applications. But let's say that I need to start a school project or just a different project altogether. I can create a new desktop. All I have to do is click on New Desktop. Now I have a new desktop too that's active. So here I can come out and open up new files and totally work on different types of projects and have different files open, different browser windows, whatever I may need to do. And so I'm going to scroll down and open up a different document here. And now if I need to go back to my first desktop to work on the other projects that I had going, all I have to do is come back over to this icon and select desktop one again. You can create multiple virtual desktops that will help you manage your workflow while you're working on different projects on your computer. Now, if I forget what I have open on my different desktops, all I have to do is come over and actually click on the button here and it will give me a preview of what I have on desktop one, all the different things that I have open so I can quickly see that. And then on desktop two, it'll show me what I have open. I do like this preview feature so that I can quickly see what all I have open on each one of my desktops. And if I'm done with everything on my second desktop and I wanna close it out, all I have to do is hit X to close it out. If you normally use split screens to do work on your computer, which always comes in handy if you have to copy something from one window to another, then you'll really like snap layouts where you can easily split your windows into different layouts. So any app that you're in, whether you're in Microsoft Excel, Word, Outlook, a web browser, simply come over to the maximize button and hover your mouse. You can choose a classic split screen and select the documents you want displayed, or you can select another layout. Let's go ahead and do a classic split screen here. I'm going to click the left hand side and it will take my active window 
and populate the left hand of that split screen. And now it gives me the option to choose any other window that I have open on my desktop to place into the right hand side of the screen. So I'm gonna choose my Word document and now I have my classic split screen here. Again, if I hover over my snap layouts, I can also choose a different type of layout. So if I wanna go here, then I can choose the window that I want in the top over here, and then I can choose the window that I want in the bottom over here. When you're done using snap layouts, you can either close or re-maximize your windows. The Windows 10 Emoji Picker has also received enhancements in Windows 11. In case you didn't know about this shortcut in Windows 10, when you hit the Windows logo key and the period key, when you're in various apps like Outlook and Word, an Emoji Picker will appear that allows you to insert emojis in your emails, Word documents, and other apps. Now let's take a look at the Emoji Picker in Windows 11. I'm gonna place my cursor where I want to include an emoji and I'm gonna hit the Windows logo key plus period. This is gonna bring up the new Windows 11 Emoji Picker. From here, I can scroll through the different emojis, GIFs, and even symbols at the bottom. I can type in the search to find what I want, or I can browse through the different items at the top. So if I wanna search through emojis, I can find all of the different categories of emojis. I can search or scroll what I'm looking for. If I go back, I can search through GIFs and scroll through the menus at the top or type my search term. I can go back, search through some classic ASCII emoticons, and even search through symbols. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna select a thumbs up emoji and it automatically inserts where you have your cursor placed in your email or your Word document. When you're done inserting emojis, you can just click X to close out. And the next time you want to open that back up, simply hit the shortcut, which is the Windows logo key and period. Windows 11 will bring an updated widgets button to the taskbar. Simply click on it to open. And instead of just pushing out news links, you can now customize the widgets that you want to see. You can click on add widgets, select the widget you want to add, close out. And now the new widget is added to your panel view. If you want to remove a widget, just click on the three dots and click remove widget. You'll also notice on the taskbar that there's an integrated Microsoft Teams chat button. This allows you to video call or text chat with anyone. And finally, the Microsoft Store has been updated so you can install apps faster and you have more variety of apps to choose from, including Android apps that you can download on your PC. Be sure and watch the other videos on my channel on how to fix and personalize your settings after you have upgraded to Windows 11. Also check out my video on privacy settings that you'll definitely want to review and change. I wanna thank all of my viewers and subscribers for watching my channel and thanks for sharing my videos. If you found this video helpful, be sure and give it a thumbs up to like it. You can subscribe to my channel and click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Be sure and visit my website, SharonSmithHR.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.